Hi, it's Craig, and today I am going to show you how to make cranberry fig jam that is not too sweet and is super tangy, which gives you that nice little sourness in the back of your mouth. Okay, so before we get into the actual making, there are a couple of things you need. It's not a very intricate recipe, so all you need are fresh or frozen cranberries um, it really doesn't matter which way what's nice about this recipe is it uses ingredients that are available throughout the year so it's not seasonal dependent on where when the fruit is available dried figs that is the key ingredient to the sweetness of this dish um, dried figs tend to have a lot more of a savory taste which which reduces the, the amount of sugar compared to fresh figs, which is why this recipe is really nice and not too sweet. Then we need sugar. And then finally, what you're going to need, jars, lids, water, and then obviously a pot to cook in. So let's get into it. Okay, so to start off with, what we are going to need is one and a half cups of water. Then you're going to need 340 grams of cranberries. Then 200 grams of dried figs. Now with the dried figs, you have two options. You can either just break them up into pieces like this and have a chunky jam, or you can take a knife or a blender and make it really fine so then you have a smooth jam. We're just going to roughly break it up uh, so we can have a nice chunky jam. Yep, yeah, there we go. And then just give it a quick little stir just to get it mixed in a little bit. You'll see the cranberry starting to get a nice bright red. Then what you need is one cup of sugar. Okay, stir that in. And then the last thing you need is the peel of one lemon. And why we use the peel of a lemon is all well, the pectin. It's a natural pectin, so we don't need to be putting in any artificial ingredients. Um, it makes it nice and thick. If you want a runnier jam, you can reduce the amount of, of lemon you put in. Um, we do find with the cranberry jam that it's quite nice to have quite a thick jam, almost like a jelly. So we, we use a full, full lemon skin uh, just to maximize how thick it gets. Yeah, then stir that all in. And what you're looking at doing is letting this run for about 20 minutes and um, <clears throat> you'll see the the cranberries will start to get a little soggy and start breaking down the whole mixture will start coming start coming together and it's going to become much more of a jam consistency and that's what you're looking for so all in all it should take about 20 minutes okay so the mixture has been going about halfway now and um, you see the color has changed to a much darker and richer color and what you can do at this stage if you want to just you know, help the cranberries along is you can just push down randomly you know, pop them a bit here and there but one of the things you will immediately start to notice is the amount of seeds that are popped up and this is the fig that's starting to break down and it's also what gives the jam a nice little crunch and it's starting to look really good and I wish I could just mm, these smells are just magnificent when you do it you'll know what I'm talking about the smells are just delicious so now we are done as you can see there's a beautiful beautiful color to this um, it's shiny, it's nice and thick, 
Like I said, we like chunky jam uh, to spread it on with nice little pieces. If you wanted it smooth, the don't worry about the cranberries. They will juice and become quite fine. If you want it fine and a, more of a smooth jam consistency, then you need to cut the figs really fine or put it in a, a, a blender to get the, the pieces really small. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to take the pieces of lemon out. Okay, obviously you don't want to yeah, bottle any of the, the jam with, with lemon in it. So take the pieces out. Sometimes they get hidden quite nicely as they change color. And the other option is, like they do in, in, in theaters, is count the amount of pieces you put in. I always forget to, so that you know how many you need to take out. And I saw a piece here that is now busy hiding away from me. There we go. Yeah. And that is... That's it for lemon skins. Okay, so there we have a beautiful, beautiful jam. Now all we need to do is to get it into the bottles. What I've done in the meantime is I have put the lids into boiling water just to make sure that the insides of the lids have been, have been dried off. Then what you need to do is obviously, depending on how you sterilize your jars, and there's so many different ways of sterilizing. Um, I'm not gonna tell you which way is the best. This is how we do it. You can do it however you want. What you then need to do is to obviously take the jars out. Okay, we like to put it onto wood just so that there isn't such a rapid change in temperature. If you put it onto a counter or to something else, you do risk it being quite a bit cooler than the glass and it shattering. But it's we've never found that to be a big problem. And then just please be careful of these jars a boiling, boiling hot. Then all you need, sterilized spoon. Uh, you can hold if you wish. You fill up the jars. Yeah, and there you go. Now all that's left is to add the lids. When you pick them up, don't touch the inside. Just pick them up from the outside. Take something for your hands because these jars are very hot and tighten nice and tight. Okay, so there you have it. Beautiful cooked bottled cranberry fig jam in about 20 minutes. Quick, easy, simple to do. All you need to do now is to just leave this to naturally cool down. Because of the bottles were so hot, the ingredients went in boiling it's naturally going to create a, a suction and a vacuum as it gets cooler so you don't need to worry about doing upside down jars or uh, putting them in boiling water or anything like that okay so there you go i hope you enjoyed it i hope it's easy enough for you to do i hope the instructions were clear enough we have also put the the recipe in the description below um, if you want to see something specific drop us a comment and let's see if we can we can make that up for you or find it. Um, if you've made this jam, please let us know what you think. Um, we always like to hear you know, what other people like to think of our recipes. We love this one, but we know that different, different strokes for different folks. So what we love might not necessarily be what you love, but if you do, please let us know. Um, and yeah, we're looking forward to bringing you the next recipe and the next tip on how to become more sustainable. Please subscribe to the channel so you can get updates, regular postings of what we do. We're going to be posting regular vid videos on recipes uh, and specifically on how to grow your own food from the garden into the house, compost that and then back into the garden. So. Leave us a comment with your thoughts and until next time, keep well and enjoy living sustainable life.